what? Oh, that's just the back out? Ooh. Yeah, I probably should do that. Oh, that was cool! <laughs> I like everything. Those keys don't go to that. So I was wrong. That was a good guess, though. I mean, keys Pie. locked. I can only guess so much. Gotta be a Bible around here somewhere. Oh, that's a med kit. I saw the cross and I was like, oh. Takes home his police reports, does he? Guide on how to modify small and medium sized firearms. Wink. Wink indeed. No oh, honor. honor. Damn. This guy was good. He was in the military? You? Yeah. Yo. You are a zombie ranger. <laughs> You're starting to sound like my partner. I don't know what you're talking How about! How am I not surprised? So he was a ranger. He is dead. Whatever killed him must have been pretty intense. That is... If he's dead. Dun dun dun. With his car gone, it's most likely he isn't dead. I'm surprised he left behind so many of his firearms. I'm sure he's not walking around unarmed. Well, he's got at least two. Uh, Fire extinguisher. Almost two ready. I'm sorry. I keep skipping the first thing they say. I'm sorry. Go Fire ahead. extinguisher. I guess this guy was really ready for anything. <laughs> wow, well, was too ready, right? Yes. I thought photography, pornography. They're very close <laughs> words. <laughs> Volumes one through nineteen. U.S. Army Ranger survival guy. Of the books. There's a Bible sticking out from the rest. Check passage in Bible. Hell yeah. John 6, 34. Sir, they said, from now on, give us this bread. I wonder what that could mean. It means they gave him bread. Most likely something to do with the keys, since he obviously left those for someone the full name. Well, the sheriff has a storage unit somewhere. This might just be the clues as to where. Give us the bread. We have the keys. Give us the bread. We're on it. Camping equipment, tin food, water purifiers, flints, hunting knives. This guy was ready for him again, eh? Prepared. The sheriff was a U.S. Army Ranger. The outdoors is in his blood. His blood is also in the outdoors. What? <laughs> the U.S. Army Ranger, eh? Interesting. Well, we've said that several times, so it shouldn't be interesting to you at this point. He played video games. Cool. He's got a snes. I'll play a snes for a little while. You guys got you. Got, we got a minute, right? Yeah, we got a minute. Blood, murder, breaking into the sheriff's home. We need to de-stress. I don't know. This is weird. You'd think you'd be able to open that with the keys. But I think he said the keys go to that storage, storage unit. unit. And there's got to be something in the storage unit that he wanted us to find. Are we going to be able to come back here, you think? I don't know. I wonder if we missed something. I'm pretty sure we got everything, unless there's something on that table. We can double check. When they said bread, I figured kitchen, and the fridge is stacked. Full fridge... Empty things out first. Yeah, I guess not. Can't sit. Yeah, can't do anything. I think you couldn't do anything to the TV. No. It, otherwise, it seemed like you got it all pretty well. <clears throat> can't do anything to the box by the by the couch. Mm -hmm. I think you got it. Okay. His home Lights is very on, spacious. Yeah. Unless, like... He's a Haxor. Play Lee Taxorino. <laughs> Come on, Leon. <laughs> uh, where do you think Lee Davis' storage unit is? Why don't you know? Oh my gosh! We have to know this? Oh, he said, I think there's a... Storage unit around here somewhere. Around here? Where do you think it is? I don't think... Well... Fisher, Taylor, Tinker, Baker. I don't know. Taylor, Tinker... I don't think a storage unit is it. Oh. I don't think a storage unit is it. To the banker lane! I get it! From the Bible! Oh, yes. the bread! 
I guess. How does that make sense? Baker, bread. Oh! <laughs> now it's coming to <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Thanks for keeping us in check, deputy. Oh my gosh, we are very good at 90 degree turn. Cool storage unit, bro. Uh, this is it. He's even labeled it for us. What's inside? Bios and all the victims in some old cassette. Sheriff Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so we could record any ideas he had. We should give it a listen. Oh, God. Do you have a tape player in your car? Nah, man. This car is only a year old. Nah, no tape man. player. I have a player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel and check it out. Oh my god, are they gonna make us listen to it? Cool. I don't know if I'm ready. All right. <laughs> I'll leave the blood samples and evidence in the police station. I'll drop you guys off first. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to listen to it. No, I don't either. Because the last one's probably him getting murdered and dying, or something like <laughs> I that. Don't Let's keep Lee Davis's files, if that's okay. Please do. Hey, we got the cassette. Mm. I was playing, um, boxes inside boxes. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Boxes. Empty. Phone directories. We can pass by them. We can pass by for them later. Boxes. Documents, but it's all in gibberish. Doesn't even look like a language. You need to know the cipher or keyboard to unlock it. That's Chinese, you uncultured idiot. It's an old way of hiding sensitive information. <laughs> That's important. We should take these. I can hold on to those for you. Thank you, deputy. Deputy. <laughs> deputy. <laughs> okay, so I was playing um that that game. On mom's computer. Yeah. The oh, the it's like delicious is what it's called. Yeah. And um, empty. At one point, uh, her husband gets like knocked out. Like he steps on a rake and knocks himself out. Mm -hmm. It's like silly and cartoonish. It on an island, and then she doesn't realize that he's done that, and so she can't find him. She's freaking out, and then like this girl comes up to her after one of the levels, and she's like. Oh, I think I know who you're describing. See you! I'm alone. Um, and she goes, I th Oh, I'm not alone. Never mind, you popped up right behind me. And, oh, we're gonna listen to the tape? And, uh, so this woman comes up to Emily and she's like, Oh yeah, I know who you're describing! And she whips out her camera and she says, Look, uh, he's passed, or he was passed out, knocked unconscious on this island. And she goes, look, the video's gone viral. And then it looks like a link, and you can click the link, and it goes to an actual YouTube video of what looks like this girl with the camera watching this guy get knocked out. And it's like the characters, but it's like an actual YouTube video. Are you serious? Yeah. Like It was actually kind of cool. Is Did they model the characters in the game after this video, or did they like make a fake video for the game? It's... It's the it's a fake it's a fake video for the game. Oh okay. But it looks real. But it looks real and in the context of the game it is real. Uh, it was really That's really cool it actually. It was really cool. <laughs> I hope they don't actually make us listen to it. I hope it's just words. Sarah turns on the card and inserts the tape. Very strange effect. This is something simply unnatural. In my time as a sheriff, I have never seen anything like this before. Every crime scene lathered in the blood of its victims, yet never a body to be found. Always that smell of ammonia present, and ever seen, even though all three scenes are in such different locations. Due to the amount of blood and damage present, am I to assume that a murder has taken place, and the bodies disposed of perfectly? This seems a bit too simple an answer. I must investigate more. Furthermore, I find it highly disturbing that every confirmed victim has come from the same college nearby. There must be some correlation. I know it must be so. 
The girls in the sorority all knew each other, and the boy who was killed in the park was a boyfriend of one of these girls, and the last missing piece is finding out about the victim of the car accident. Now, I have checked the vehicle's registration, and apparently the car was reported stolen in Durham a few days ago. The owner is alive and well and seems unaffected by these problems, yet obviously distraught at the fate of his vehicle. I must find out the identity of the driver. The notes I'm finding in each scene are also very disturbing indeed, as if left on purpose as a signature by the killer. I am led to believe that the answer lies in finding the correlation between all the victims and seeing who would have a motivation to eliminate all of them. I am not safe. For the past few days I have felt a presence around. Someone watching. Someone or something. I do not know if it is human. When you are in a small town like this one, it is not hard to detect when something irregular has happened. If you are listening to this, I am assuming you are also a member of the police force, and I ask you to please see that justice be done. These youngsters had promising lives in front of them, and now their families are telling me they have disappeared. My heart tells me they are no longer in this world. The brutality of the attacks makes me think that perhaps it may have been an animal, or even supernatural. But the lack of evidence makes me think that perhaps it was from someone or something intelligent and experienced. I leave behind my notes for you in case something happens to me. Farewell. What do you make of that, Skippy? Uh... <laughs> There's just no volume. There's just no volume. Mm. Cool.